Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be starting a new video on plant hormones. So plant hormones are basically uh, they are naturally occurring uh, organic substances which are present inside the plants and in some tissues they may be characterized by uh, you know low concentration and in some of them they are characterized by a high concentration. So their amount is totally dependent upon the plant. All right, and plant hormones are able to exert their action locally or at a distance. So plant hormones are basically of five types that is auxin, gibberellins, ethylene, cytokines, abscisic acid and all of them have the following precursors. So there are certain common things which are present in all the plant hormones. So first of all we'll be talking about amino acids. Precursors matlab, precursor ka matlab jisse wo banna start hota hai. Alright, jase ki plants ka jo process hota hai, wo food formation ka kis se hota hai. Food, how is the food formed by sunlight. So sunlight is acting as a precursor. That is a starting material. Alright, and in the same form, uh, if we talk about plant hormones, then uh, first of all we'll be talking about amino acids. So in, I mean, in case of amino acids, Tryptophan and methionine are used as the precursors and tryptophan is the uh, precursor of auxin which we will be studying the first hormone which is recognized and second is methionine which is uh, the precursor of ethylene hormone. Alright and lipids is the precursor of um, linole, uh, linolic acid and isoprenoid compounds are the precursors of cytokinins, gibberellins, abscisic acid, racinoids etc. So you need to keep in mind all these basic things because they are acting as a precursors and precursors means the starting material of the hormones. How are the hormones formed and how are they further built? So now we will be starting with what is auxin? Alright, so auxin is the first plant hormone to be identified. Just up se pehla plant hormone humne identify kiya tha, that was auxin and it was discovered by Wendt. It was isolated from the root of oat coleoptile. It is a type of plant. And oat coleoptile ke tip se hume ye mila tha. Auxin. And there are three main types of auxins. IAA, IBA and PAA. IAA is indole 3 acetic acid. And IBA is indole 3 butyric acid. And PAA is phenyl acetic acid. If you need to note down this, just do it and uh, there are more than 200 forms which are present and all these forms have different uh, different chemical structures all right aisa nahi hai ki auxins of sare type ke auxins hi hai to sabka chemical structure same hoga they might have different chemical structures and most of them usually have different structures but some of the common features of auxin are they are unsaturated planar aromatic and carboxyl side chains ye hota hi hota hai theek hai you can look up for the structures in any kind of books. Oxygen ka structure is commonly present in uh, on the internet as well. But structure mein jitne jitne bhi common features hote hain oxygen ke wo yehi hote hain ki unsaturated planar aromatic ring hoti hai and carboxyl side chain. So synthesis mein hum padhenge now. Synthesis pehle humne padh liya ki basics kya hote hain hamare oxygen ke now we'll be studying about the synthesis. So synthesis uh, means where is it synthesized inside the plant. So plants mein young leaves hote hain. For example, you must have seen uh, leaves coming out. Chote chote jo leaves hote hain. They are light green color and they are referred as young leaves. And unme synthesis start hoti hai. And shoot apical meristem, developing fruits and seeds. These are the major common parts in which the synthesis takes place. All right. Now, intracellularly, every cell ke andar ye kahan pe present hote hain, kahan pe synthesis hoti hai, chloroplast and cytosol mein. So, IAA occurs in both forms, in two forms. IAA is indole acetic, indole three acetic acid, and it occurs in two forms. That is conjugated form and free state form. Conjugated form kya hota hai? Conjugated with high. Conjugated means they are attached on either side with high molecular weight compound and low molecular kilowatt compound and free state form they are existing in freely state that is no attachment from any side now biosynthesis ka matlab ki banta kaise theek hai so biosynthesis ke liye there are two pathways first is tryptophan dependent tryptophan humne bataya tha precursor ki tarah act karta hai and it is a type of amino acid so tryptophan dependent hota hai सेकेंड होता है ट्रिप्टोफैन इंडिपेंडेंट तो जो ट्रिप्टोफैन डिपेंडेंट पाथवे होता है उसका जो स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल होता है वो होता है ट्रिप्टोफैन सो देर इज अ साइकिल विच गोज ऑन एंड दिस इज ट्रिप्टोफैन ट्रिप्टोफैन के बाद जो बनता है वो बनता है इंडोल थ्री 
pyruvic acid. This step is known as deamination reaction. Deamination means amine group ka removal ho raha hota hai. As the name suggests, deamination that is removal of amine group and enzyme involved is tryptophan transaminase. Now, after three in uh, indole three pyruvic acid, indole three acetaldehyde is formed. And this step is known as decarboxylation, and uh, the enzyme is indole three pyruvic acid decarboxylase. Third step in which indole three acetaldehyde forms indole three acetic acid that is IAA is the step called as oxidation reaction. Or ye enzyme the uh, the responsible enzyme is indole three acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. In, in tryptophan independent pathway the starting agent itself is indole. Because tryptophan independent hai. If tryptophan dependent pathway mein, obviously the whole pathway will depend upon tryptophan. So therefore there tryptophan is acting as a precursor. Here we are talking about tryptophan independent pathway. That is tryptophan ke ho ya na ho se koi farak nahi padta. Wo ban jayega khud. So there are two pathways in which the tryptophan independent pathway the starting material is not tryptophan. The starting material is indole. So now we'll be talking about transport. Oxygen is the only hormone that is transported unidirectionally. You need to keep that in mind. Unidirectionally, he a key hormone transport hota hai. This ka naam hota hai oxygen. And there are two ways to transport indole acetic indole three acetic acid. One is long way and one is short way. Now, if you have uh, read uh, the flow and unloading and loading process, which I've told you in the last video, you must know what is a uh, you know long way pathway and what is a short way pathway. If, if you haven't, go watch it, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. my channel because i'll be hosting every single video um in a repeated process in a repeated manner simultaneously um in in detail videos are there so kindly like share and subscribe guys do not forget to like share and subscribe and do share it among your friends uh so let's come back long way and short way all right so long way is referred as non polar and short way is referred as polar so long way is from source to sink source we have already told you what source is where the production is taking place and sink where the produced substance is going and unloading itself is referred as sink so it is a passive transport That is, it does not require any kind of energy. But in short way, जो short way transfer हो रहा होता है oxygen का, that is polar transport, उसमें तो cell to cell होता है. Cell एक cell से दूसरे cell में. And this is the active transport that it is requires energy. And basically, में मतलब stem से tip to the stem tip to the base. In polar transport of oxygen, two important things. A polar transport हमने बोला जो short way वाला transport होता है. Short way वाले transport में there are two important things: polar influx and polar efflux. What is efflux means when it comes out? That is when oxygen comes out from the plasma membrane and passes through the middle lamella. And next step is it enters another cell. Through its plasma membrane. Now this step is referred as polar influx, and this step is referred as efflux. So this is the first step. That is when oxygen comes out from the plasma membrane and passes through the middle lamella. It further enters another cell through the plasma membrane. Okay. Now we are studying in detail process of. What is oxygen influx? So oxygen influx मतलब as the name suggesting oxygen का अंदर आना inside the plasma membrane when it enters the cell. So the oxygen influx takes place by two different mechanisms. That is simple passive diffusion and second reactive transport. In simple passive diffusion, the diffusion of protonated indole three acetic acid. That is protonation मतलब one H group is added to it. That is I A A H. If it is clearly visible, you guys can see I've written it I A A H, and second reactive transport, deprotonated I A A that is one hydrogen is removed, then a minus comes, uh, a negative sign comes, and by a it the deprotonated ion that is I A A um, negative it. Uh, is transported by a 2H plus IA minus symporter. These symporters are present inside the plasma membrane. All right. Now IAAH is a lipophilic form. So IAAH, what we said was that it is protonated form, and it diffuses through the plasma membrane easily. But the deprotonated form, that is IAA minus, it is negatively charged. Therefore, it does not cross the membrane by simple diffusion. ठीक है तो अब हमने बोला कि जो H प्लस ए टी पे होता है ये कहाँ पे प्रेजेंट होता है मेरे सेल बोर्ड में प्रेजेंट होता है एंड इट मेंटेन्स द पी एच एट फाइव 
देयरफॉर हाफ ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन इज ऑलरेडी प्रोटोनेटेड और वो इजीली उसमें से चला जाता है अक्रॉस द एंड रिचेस द साइटोसोल अब हमने बोला कि जो आईए होता है इट एंटर्स द साइटोसोल पीएच 7.2 एंड इट इज डिसोसिएटेड इनटू एन आयनिक फॉर्म दैट इज आईएए माइनस नाउ आईएए माइनस दैट इज प्रेजेंट आउटसाइड एंटर्स द सेल अब आईएए माइनस जो बाहर प्रेजेंट है वो इजीली अंदर नहीं जा सकता क्योंकि उसके पास नेगेटिव साइन है बट आईएए तो इजीली चला गया अंदर जाने के बाद वो डिफ्यूज हो गया इनटू आईएए माइनस नाउ आईएए माइनस व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट आउटसाइड एंटर्स द सेल थ्रू सिंपोटा दैट इज 2H+ IAA minus important and due to this the oxygen is accumulated inside the cell. अब अंदर आ गया तो इसका दूसरा नाम भी होता है 2H plus IAA is minus important का नाम होता है. This is AKA as called as oxygen transporter protein that is AUX1. These both are the same things and if you get an question in exam, do not be confused because they both are literally synonyms of each other. They mean the same. They help in oxygen. इनफ्लक्स, ओके, नाउ ऑक्सीजन इफ्लक्स, व्हाट इस इफ्लक्स? दैट इस थ्रोइंग इट आउट, सो इट टेक्स प्लेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ पिन ऑक्सीजन इफ्लक्स कैरियर प्रोटीन्स, देर आर एट पिन प्रोटीन्स, दैट इस पिन वन टू पिन एट, एंड देर आर लोकलाइज्ड इन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन, सो पिन वन, टू, थ्री, फोर एंड सेवन मेनली आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड दे आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर इफ्लक्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन पर जो नए प्रेजेंट होते हैं दैट इज वन एंड फोर दे कॉज ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन मोमेंट फ्रॉम द शूट टू द रूट अब नीचे की तरफ करते हैं ये जो हमने बताया ठीक है अभी आगे हम और प्रोटीन्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे जो उसको ऊपर की तरफ पुश करते थे पिन वन एंड पिन टू कॉज द मूवमेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द शूट टू द रूट ठीक है ऊपर से नीचे Now the proteins are also involved. There are many proteins involved, and they are called as ABCB proteins. That is ATP binding acid uh, subfamily P, and they have eight subfamilies from A to H. As you can see, which ka you can figure it out yourself. A B C D E F G H. And now ABCB subfamily ABCB one, four, and nineteen. They are called as oxygen transporters. So ABCB fourteen and fifteen, they are associated polar. Uh, they are associated with polar oxygen transport. There are many oxygen efflux inhibitors. Now, what does oxygen efflux inhibitors do? They basically inhibit or they basically block the polar transport of oxygen by binding to the IAA efflux carrier proteins. Um, two types के होते हैं oxygen efflux inhibitors. That is TIBA two three five di triiodobenzoic acid and NPA naphthalmic uh, naphthalmic acid. So in columella pin three and pin seven, they help in modulating the upward flow of oxygen. यहाँ पे डो रहा था downward flow of oxygen. All right, क्योंकि oxygen की movement हो रही है from the shoot to the root. But in this case, oxygen हमने बोला कि pin columella के case में pin three and pin seven help in modulating the upward flow of oxygen. ऊपर की तरफ that is from the root to the shoot and pin two sides पे present होती है. For example, this is a root. Just let me draw with a pen. For example, this is the root. This is the stellar system. So pin one and sorry, pin three and pin seven they are present here, and pin two is present on both the sides to modulate the upward movement. All right, to modulate it upwards. This is all about oxygen, and I have told you each and every step: biosynthesis. Transport, synthesis, and basic features, and uh, how is the biosynthesis taking place in two forms, and efflux, influx, in every single proteins, what are the important present, not present. So everything you need to know is there in this video, and uh, if you guys want me to add anything in it, uh, you can tell me. You can just comment down below. I can. Improve that in the next video and put uh, more content in my videos. Just let me know and subscribe to my channel, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget, and I repeat that again and again, and because it will motivate me and it will put better quality of videos and better content. Thank you. Bye.